welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about differential indexing which will be used to dividing a periphery into equal number of parts so in differential indexing the index plate is made to free to rotate so let us see on to the construction of a differential indexing mechanisms so here that will be the index plate that will be connected with the index crank and that index plate and crank that should be connected with the bevel gears or you can say bevel gears so that will be connected with the simple gear train mechanisms over here so that gear train that will be connected with your worm and worm wheel that will be indicating over here and finally it will be connected with the workpiece material so by the movement of this particular index crank with the help of index lever with the connecting with the index plate with the bevel gears so according to that selection of a simple gear train mechanism so that motion it will be converting by the simple gear train and that will be transferring to the workpiece so let us see the theory portions of a differential indexing mechanism so the gear is connected to the back end of the dividing head spindle while another gear is mounted onto the shaft is connected to the shaft of the index plate through a bevel gears so we already discussed the construction of a differential indexing so for this simple gear trains we are using the standard change gears so here it will be the 24 24 so two set you can use it then 28 teeth gear 32 40 44 48 56 64 42 86 and 100 number of the teeth gears is being used to make a simple gear train to converting these motions into equal number of parts so that kind of all the mechanisms it will be called as a differential indexing to generating a required number of the periphery to manufacturing of a gear so let us see the sum of the calculation part for differential indexing for 97 teeth so generally starting with any indexings from the simple indexing so here require indexing 40 by 97 which cannot be obtained by any of the index plate is available into the workshops so at that time so choose a nearest possible division so in that case either you should assume the less value than this 97 or you can say it will be having higher than the 97 so in this case we are assuming that that will be the hundred number of index is being required so just you can apply the simple indexing methods so 40 divided by and that will be indicating as a simple indexing so 40 by 100 so finally you will get 2 by 5 so you can add like 1 by 1 2 by 2 3 by 3 4 by 4 to achieve so for selecting a index plate so here it will be the 2 by 5 so for the achievement of the whole circle system so that will be over here that will be the minimum value is 15 so you can converting this 2 by 5 or you can say this 5 value into the whole circle system so if you can multiply by 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 so you can easily make it suppose i want to converting into like 4 by 4 so that should be converting into 8 by 22 so by this 8 by 2 that means what the actual indexing decided is 8 holes in 20 whole circle system is being adopted by the brown and sharp systems for plate number 1 if you want to select like this the 2 by 5 it will be converting into like this so 6 divided by 15 so in that case for brown and sharp system plate number 1 with the 15 whole circle system so just you can change with like this in actual indexing decided is 
for this it will be the six holes in a 15 hole circle system so that will be the multiple answers it will be available for brown and sharp with the different plate number 1 2 and 3 over here so now we will take 4 by 4 so 8 holes into 20 hole circle systems now for selecting a gear train so that will be having a sum of the relations like this number of teeth on a spindle gears divided by number of teeth on a gear on a pillar shaft that should be equal to 14 to n minus n divided by n so in that case small n that will be indicating as a assumption number and capital n that will be the exact number so if small n is greater than capital N so that will be the positive sign of gear train is being used if small n is less than a capital N so negative sign is being used so just put the value of over here 40 into n minus n divided by n so you will get 6 by 5 now for selecting a change gear set over here so change gear set that should be equal to 6 by 5 so just you can concentrate over here if you multiply it by the 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 to selecting a standard gear train over here so just you can concentrate so from this theory we have the standard change gears 24 24 28 32 40 44 48 56 64 72 86 and 100 to make a such kind of 97 divisions onto the gear blank so just you can see over here for change gear set if you multiply with 1 1 2 3 3 so it will be not possible to fulfill your conditions but at your 8 into 8 so 6 into 8 48 and 5 into 8 that will be the 40 so 48 that will be indicating is a driven gear and 40 indicating as a driver gear so this both the value of 48 and 40 it must be available into standard change gear set so you can easily make the simple gear train to converting these rotations into this required number of divisions so that will be for 97 divisions you should using a 48 by 40 driven and driven gear set so if you like it then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank you very much